Hello, I'm Dr. Susie Carmack, author of Wellbeing Ultimatum and a professor of health studies at the American University. I'm honored to be here with you today to encourage you to stand up to the health risks of stress and sedentarism so that you can feel happier and healthier at work. I call it making a well-being ultimatum. Believe it or not, I've had the honor and privilege of helping about 30,000 people from 89 countries to join me in this effort. And I hope that you'll join me too and encourage your colleagues to do the same. Today's tip is going to encourage you to take time to integrate some of the movement we've learned this week with mindfulness together. And sometimes this is helpful when we find ourselves in periods at work or even in our regular everyday life where things are challenging. Sometimes our stresses bring us to a point where we need to stop and pause and re-see the situation well. And that's what today's tip will give you. What I'd like you to do is to find a place where you can stand in a lunge with one leg forward and the other leg back and standing tall. We're doing three things at once here. We're getting you standing, we're releasing your hips, and we're encouraging you to have a nice healthy spine. As we stand here, I want you to enjoy taking your hands together and take a few moments where you imagine bringing positive energy back to yourself. Let's imagine that as you move your arms, you're bringing the thoughts of respect, gratitude, and commitment into your mind, your body, and your heart. Stay here for a few breaths, picking one of those words, respect, gratitude, or commitment, and see how you can literally give yourself some kindness today. When you feel that energy coming into your mind and body, take a deep breath in and enjoy. Now we'll change sides so that our legs are strong and even. And we'll also do a different technique of mindfulness, imagining that we're sharing an intention with others. So we'll start again in our lunge with our hands together. And this time, instead of bringing intentions to our heart, we'll imagine that we're sharing them with others, fostering the ideas of courage, kindness, and wisdom. We know during our endeavors that sometimes we have inner conflict and other times we have external conflict. By sharing courage, having the courage to be kind to others and choosing to be wise and well can help us foster a mindful and well workplace. When you've had a chance to do both sides, let's stand in our mountain pose and give yourself positive intentions on your inhale and exhale. Bringing in respect, gratitude, and commitment, and sending out the themes of courage, kindness, and wisdom. When we take time to center ourselves and to choose how we engage with others, we're fostering well-being in minds, hearts, and bodies, and we're ensuring that we have a culture of well-being. It's been my honor and my privilege to offer these techniques to you. Whether you practice with me or come up with your own, what's important is this. When you take time for you, you'll be ensuring that your health and well-being are protected. And then that will help you go and help others in doing the same. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Dr. Susie Carmack, and I hope that you stay centered today. Make a well-being ultimatum for your mind, your body, and your life.